Okay, this is a 2000 Honda CRV, and I'm going to do valve stem seals on it, and uh, I'm going to do it the easy way. I do this on DSMs all the time. I zip tie the cam gears together, pull the cam gears off, and then I'll pull the cams out, and then I'll start replacing the valve stem seals. So this is how you remove the valve springs uh, without taking the cylinder head off. You get one of these tools. I had another one off of Amazon, but turned out to be junk, so... I had this other one from a DSM, uh, same job I did uh, a couple years ago, and the DSM tool seems to work just fine. And you push it down, you pop your keepers out, and then you take the tool out of the way and you can remove the spring, and away you go. And the way I'm doing this is I've got the cylinders at TDC on 1 and 4, and I'm doing cylinders 1 and 4 first, and then we'll go from there. Um, I just let the valve touch the piston. It doesn't put any pressure on it, not enough to damage it or anything like that. So yeah, that's that's how I do it. And then I pull them off and I take the valve stem valve stem seals off like I did on this one already. I got the, those ones off and the valves are just kind of sitting on the top of the pistons right now. So they can't go down on the holes. And then when I'm ready to do the other ones, I'll rotate the motor over to get those two center cylinders on top dead center and do the same thing because if you don't do it you're going to drop a valve in the cylinder and that would suck because now you're pulling a cylinder head okay so this is a new valve stem seal and i'm going to put it on a 10 millimeter socket and that's all i do i put it on like that and then i put it over top of the valve there and it goes on and then what i do then is i knock it down with a with a hammer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold the phone and do this at the same time. Let's just see if I can... Yeah, I can't do it holding the phone at the same time. It requires two hands. You gotta tap on that and then it sinks down and it should look like that one right there. You can see how that one's seated up nice. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how this tool works. So I'm going to start compressing that valve spring and I'll show you. You can see it's turning there. The valve's going to touch the piston any second now. Turn that light a bit. Okay, I feel the valve touching the piston and there you go. It released the, the retainer from the keepers. So I'll just push the spring down a little bit more. The valve is gently resting on the piston. This does not cause any damage to the valve at all. It doesn't bend it or nothing because there's not enough pressure there to do that. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a magnet and I'm gonna pull those little keepers out and then I'll back this tool off and then I'll pull the spring out of there and they'll have access to the valve stem seal and then I'm gonna change it. Okay guys, I'm just going to show you how I uh, find TDC on an engine when I'm uh, ready to roll it over so that I can move on to the next set of uh, valves that I'm going to change the stem seals on. So I take this extension and just shove it down the spark plug hole. That's bottom dead center. Now I'm going to rotate this motor and you'll see that start to come up. And right there, I'll move it back just a smidge. There, that's top dead center. That's how I find it. Okay, I'm gonna show you again. This is on the intake side now. Uh, I'm gonna remove those um, keepers. So this is what you do. You just put your tool on here and you ratchet that thing all the way down till the valve makes contact with the piston. You're not doing any damage because there's not enough pressure here to bend a valve. You're just using the piston to hold the valve in place to release the keepers from the retainer. And there it is. It's already released. And that's it. And then you get a magnet and you suck those things out of there and then you're able to remove your spring and get at your valve, hems, valve stem seal. Okay, so I lined up the timing marks at the crankshaft and I was able to get the cam gears on without taking all the timing assembly apart. So you start with, let me zoom out here, you start with that back gear there, and you get it on, and then you back you move the crankshaft back and forth, and you feel it go over the timing belt cogs one at a time with this front gear off, and then you get that 
uh, back gear, the intake cam gear, lined up with the crankshaft when it's tight so you get that timing mark lined up down there perfectly and you get this top one here lined up perfectly the way it's supposed to be and it ha has a locking pin right there. So when you get the back gear and the crank gear lined up perfectly, it's easy to get the front gear to line up. Then you, you just uh, work this camshaft back and forth a little bit there to get the keyway started and then uh, you get your cam on there and then you tighten them down and then you go back down there and you check your crankshaft top dead center timing mark. I don't know if it'll focus here. Anyway, I showed it to you there at the beginning. This phone doesn't want to grab it. There it is. Oh, it went away again. Anyway, I got the timing marks lined up and uh, I'll tighten everything down. I'll remove my two locking pins out of the out of the camshaft that are locking to the cylinder head and I'll rotate it over six times by hand and then I'll recheck my timing marks and uh, I think I'll be putting this thing back together and I'll be ready for fire up. Okay, I lined up my timing marks and I cranked it over six times and the crankshaft timing mark is right on the money. It looks like it's a little bit off there but it's just the angle I'm holding the camera because it's the only way it will focus. And I got my timing marks on my cam gears lined up perfectly. And they're saying the up position there. And they line up with those uh, pins on the top here. I don't know if you can see them. You have those locking pins that are in your camshaft. See, those locking pins are lined up. So the timing is set and I didn't even have to take the timing cover off, which is awesome because it saved me a whole bunch of time. And I got the valve stem seals out and changed over without uh, having to pull the cylinder head. And that was the whole idea of that tool and doing this job. It went by a lot quicker than uh, taking stuff apart that didn't need to be taken apart. Hope this helps. And she's all back together and running. We got the repair done and I'll let you know in the next day or so if uh, the oil burning problem goes away at idle. I'm pretty sure it will though because those valve stem seals are rock hard. Oh yeah, before I forget, this is the tool I ordered off Amazon that was supposed to work for this motor. Uh, it does not work for a B20 Honda engine out of a 2000 Honda CRV. It just doesn't work. I ended up using uh, another tool I have here that uh, I, I use this one. Um, I bought this for a DSM, same job on a DSM a few years ago. And this tool worked out pretty good, even though it's not for this motor, it still worked. I had to move it around a little bit, but it worked perfect. So if you see the Amazon one that looks like that, it does not work for the Honda B20 motor. 